Hi everybody, I'm Jen with Cake Tastic Cakes and this video you're about to watch was a live stream I did recently for a site called Game Jolt and it is a freestanding creeper cake that I made for Game Jolt and Game Jolt is a social site for kids mostly that like video games so anything video game related you can go on there and share your fan art, share your thoughts, whatever so I share my cake videos on there and you're gonna see during the live stream little stickers popping up here and there and those are the ways that the kids and viewers can support the creators like me. They earn stickers through ad revenue generated means so it doesn't cost the kids anything. They earn these charge stickers, stick them on, on the site or on my posts as I'm doing them and then I get paid so it really helps everybody out. So you're gonna see that going on and if you wanna check out Game Jolt or you think your kids might like it, I'll put the link above and below so you can find it for yourselves. In the meantime, check out my really cool creeper cake I made. Because I don't really know. Okay, I'm pushing down on my other one. Hopefully. Yes, yes, it stayed. Okay, when it stays, it's good. I don't know if you can see, I've got some like crackage going on here. That is the official term, crackage, much like cracking. But it doesn't matter because I'm going to cover it anyway. I'm gonna cut in between his legs a little bit just because I want to show off the fact that he's standing. And this is the wrong knife for the job. Okay, here's the next question. I don't know if you're ready or not already. I still see some, ooh, Chip has a question. Yeah, and I'm sorry guys, if you do have questions for me and if my dog doesn't walk into my stand <laughs> anymore, I'll be good and I'll be able to read your question. But if you have any questions, go ahead and send them over. And as long as I can read them, I will try to answer them. Like I, I do try to, to acknowledge you guys because you are what makes my my cake pot, cake cast, cake, cake streams, I guess, happen. I was going to say like podcast, like cake cast, but that just kind of sounds weird. All right, this one lost some on the back, but again, not worried because I'm going to cover this with icing. You won't even say it. Okay, so if you guys have any idea on this one, which again, I expect everyone to have an idea on this because even I know this one. Um, Pokemon Go was a really big hit when it was released and then Minecraft released their version. I kind of call it like a copycat. What is it called? What was the spinoff? of Pokemon Go Minecraft edition called. And again, I expect everyone to get this one. So I'm not giving any sucker points yet. <laughs> you gotta earn your sucker points, even though they mean nothing. All right, I'm gonna tear off this because it's sticking out too far. Don't remember. There's my dog. The one that ran into the stand a moment ago. Uh, yeah, Minecraft Earth, yes. Lots of people said Minecraft Earth, Minecraft Earth. Minecraft Earth. Okay, but now I'm curious and I want you guys to tell me who has actually played Minecraft Earth? Like, was it any good? Aw, oh, you are so smart, SMRT. <laughs> I also watched a lot of Simpsons in my day. So I don't know if you see this, but this is also the pile of wasted cake. So all this cake, like you can make a second cake with the amount of cake you waste sometimes. So yeah, has anybody played it? I don't know how it was. I heard it was kind of, eh, you know, not that special. So I'm curious, I'm curious. Oh, maybe, yeah. Just Pokemon, yeah, see, even I had Pokemon Go and I was playing that one for a little while until I got bored of it. But Minecraft Earth, I remember seeing it advertised and it looked really cool because it was like the guy at the convention and he's like, I'm walking through a freaking Minecraft castle. And it was like, whoa, VR meets your cell phone kind of stuff. And then it kind of just didn't. Yeah, I don't know. So has anyone? Okay, you have some cake. Yeah, if you want to just hop in the car and drive on over here, I've got some cake scraps. But yeah, I don't know. Has anyone? played it. Oh, you're laggy. Oh yeah, AR and VR are definitely not the same. Oh, it's my non-pixelated buddy. How's Portugal? <laughs> he and I were chatting it up the other, or I'm assuming he, pardon me if I'm wrong, but we were chatting it up the other day 
and it was very cool. I learned a lot of stuff that I never knew. Okay. So yeah, has anybody? I don't know. Has anyone played it? I can, I'm not seeing anybody saying yes or no either way. I'm going to assume nobody played it, and that's why it's like a like a fairy tale. You hear a bedtime story, and like once when I was a child, there was a game for Minecraft. All right. Now this one might be a little bit harder for you guys. Probably not, but hmm, maybe. How many players can be in a realm at the same time? Oh, that's too easy. Yeah. <laughs> oh. All right. Some of you are nailing it. Okay. Vector the Vampire, I think, likes to likes to really make sure I see his comments because I always notice them. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Average meme guy. Chip the Skeleton. Speed game. Bruh. <laughs> Speed games, bruh. Yes, 10. 10 is what I had as my answer, and it was my son approved, so you know it's got to be true. And speaking of Minecraft, do you guys prefer creative or survival? Because I prefer creative. I like to just... You're on, a, oh, you're on a realm right now, Chip? You mean to say you're not on a realm right now, but if you weren't watching my stream, you would be on a realm right now. I think that's what you meant to say. Survival with mods. Yeah, mods are fun. Mods can be a lot of fun. That's a good point. And I don't know. I'm sure you guys have realized by now, but we've got a bunch of other creators here, partner creators with GameJolt. And Minecraft is a pretty good theme with a few of them. That they are they are in on Minecraft. So yeah, I don't know if you can see how messy these are. I'm like making crumble mess over here. But I'm just gonna just keep icing, you know. It's like the Dory version of uh, cakes. <laughs> the cake version of Dory, I guess. Just keep icing, just keep icing. La la la, it'll all be fine. All right, so as far as the creative and survival, now do you guys like to do in realms or do you prefer like doing it by yourself, just doing your own individual survival? Because I don't play well with others, <laughs> I would say. I kind of like doing my own thing, but maybe it's because I'm more old school and I'm more used to that kind of thing. Although I would play with my sons, that was fun to do. And my one son and I had this thing that we would do. We'd do, go in creative and uh, we would make the world with as many flat and with as many villages as we could. And we haven't done this in a long time. I actually kind of miss it. And we would be Vikings. And so we would get ourselves a horse and we would get ourselves flaming bows and arrows and swords. And we would get some armor and that kind of thing, even though you know, I guess Vikings have no armor. But then we would ride through the villages and just raise them <laughs> we would we would uh burn down all the buildings and we would tear up all the vegetables and we would um fireside extinguish all the villagers and that kind of thing i don't know if you could see i got a little friend down here it, did you guys see um my training with cake scraps earlier this is him she her girl there you go he watches me in case i drop something so yeah, that's what we would like, like to do. We would go in creative and just destroy stuff. <laughs> it probably says a lot about our psyche, or mine anyway. <laughs> but anyway. All right. Okay, I would burn them too, but I wouldn't stop the burning. Yeah. Oh, good for you, Waxen. Look at you with the followers. Living it up. I'm fine. Okay, see, I didn't know if I'm yeah, allowed to say slaughter the villagers or fireside extinguish the villagers. Now, some of you guys are asking about my dogs. I do have two. I've got a chocolate lab and I've got a black lab. The big one who you can actually say, Jericho. His name is Jericho because there was a TV show, ooh, early 2000s maybe? Something like that? Or maybe the 10s, like early 10s. But there was a TV show called Jericho and it was like all this um, apocalyptic survivory kind of thing and we really liked it. And we thought the name was cool. 
So, you know, like 20 years later, we still remember the name. I finally made it pay off. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna do much more to this because it's a mess. It's messy. All right. He is a good pupper, you have no idea. Who said that anyway? I can't even say. Oh, <laughs> he is a good pupper. And the other one, the chocolate one, she is little. She is an English version. I don't know if you know the difference between American and English, but um, American labs tend to be taller and lankier. The British ones are stockier, is what I understand it to be, and shorter, smaller, just overall smaller. So you can't see her. You might see her tail, but you can't see her. And her name is Janichi. And I'm probably saying it wrong, but my son found the name and he just liked it. He thought it sounded cool. So yes. And last time I had a stream, you guys named my fish for me. Although I honestly don't remember what their names are. Okay. I'm gonna just put this aside and pretend like it didn't happen. Of course, it's ugly. But it won't be so bad once I cover it with fondant. And I am going to fondant this week. It'll probably make it harder to destroy, but it'll look a lot nicer. Okay, so I'm going to stick this in the fridge and I'm going to disappear. And in the meantime, I'm going to take the head over there that I've got going and I'm going to cover it with fondant and start getting that ready while this sets. Then I can cover this and, st you know, it's, it's a whole process, it's a whole thing. So, and in the meantime, guys, remember I mentioned about the school curriculum thing? Okay, there is one country, one country that you probably are gonna wish you were a part of that has Minecraft as actually part of their school curriculum for all 13 year olds in their country. So, let me know which country you think it is because it sure as heck is in this one. I gotta put this in the refrigerator. Walk away without it. Is anybody guessing it? Minecraft is unblocked in some schools. Yep. Okay, so yeah. <laughs> Some of you are guessing Sweden, and I don't know if it was that long to Google it or if you guys actually knew it. So moment of truth here. Did you guys know it or did you Google it? Aw. Thanks. I appreciate the support, guys. Uh, you heard it from your friends. Knew but didn't say. Oh, okay. You could have said it. Nachos from Sweden. Oh, I didn't know nachos from Sweden. Did you know nachos from Sweden? Nobody knew nachos from Sweden. Vector the Vampire, are you out? Ah, oh, man, sad. Yeah, so they have it as part of their curriculum. I have no idea why. I don't know if they feel like it builds motor skills or I have no idea what. But yeah, Sweden. Sweden's the answer. Okay, I need to clean off my counter and then I can roll out my fondant and you get to see the wonderful process of that. It actually is, eh, it's, I was going to say it's neat to see. It is neat to see when you watch it all come together. It's not neat when you're the one doing it all the time though. Okay, that should do it. So I can't have crumbs on my counter. Okay. All right, now I just need to dry this. And yeah, so here's my creeper's head. And it's nice and square, coincidence, I think not. I'm gonna cover it with some of this right here. So it'll be nice and green. I'm missing crumbs, I've got crumbs on my counter. Ah, uh, somebody Googled it. I appreciate that. <laughs> nice. Oh, Victor's back. Hi, Victor the Vampire. Did I say that right? I'm going to say. Um, Vector. 
No, Victor the Vampire. Is that from um, the Minions movie with Vector? What's a Google man? <laughs> yeah, right. No? Okay. I was just curious. Okay, so now while I get this ready, here we go again. On a place on PlayStation ports, okay, PlayStation ports, achievement system is known as trophies. Okay. What is it called in Java editions? Uh, main thing I want to know is if she is uh Oh, somebody had it. Yeah. Pixelated had it. Let's see. Average meme has it. Speed Games Bro has it. Vector has it. Okay. Yeah, you guys got it. Advancements. Yes. Yes, yes. So, yeah, I don't know why. I guess everybody has to be different, right? Because we get trophies here on Game Jolt for completing achievements or, you know, hitting landmarks and that kind of thing. And I think it would be awesome if you guys could help me earn a trophy for <laughs> most charged stickers earned. <laughs> if that is such a thing. And if it's not, then I feel like it should be. So, yes, please don't forget um, the charged stickers helps all of us creators. I've mentioned it before. This stuff ain't cheap. And, oh, Game Boy, mm -mm -mm. you haven't been doing your quests. Shame, shame, shame. Okay. Then he's going to lose... 100 sucker points. Yeah, it's a serious offense. Negative sucker points for him. <laughs> uh, oh, that's, I actually made a really cool, um, someone had a picture up. It looked like Minecraft version of Among Us. I don't know if it was or not, but it reminded me, kind of like what I'm doing here. I had made a standing Among Us cake and it came out so cool. I think I posted it in the Among Us community a while ago. And if I haven't, then I should, because it was really nice. It came out really good. Okay. Yes. You can earn your charges by completing your daily quests and then charge up those stickers and place them on the creator's posts. And that helps us feel the love. Okay. Now I'm going to roll this bad boy out. I think I've got plenty here. I don't know if you can see, but um, fondant is what's used to cover the cake, and it's very, like, stretchy and elastic and everything else. So it's real good for covering. It doesn't dry too hard the way gum paste will. So you cover cakes with fondant, decorate with gum paste. And when you see cakes in the store, you can be like, oh, that's fondant, that's gum paste, and then you'll sound cool. All right. Uh, yeah, if people are having a hard time figuring out the Game Jolt stickers, like how to charge them and how to set them, um, it's not actually hard. It's just kind of like a little tricky. When you go to place a sticker on a creator, you'll see your sticker icon that you can choose to click. will be all sparkly with like the little electric, little green electricity. That means you're charged and you can place it. So when you click that, your sticker bar will open up, you choose a sticker, place it, and then at the bottom where you'd click place sticker right next to it, there's a little box that says charge. And if you click that, that will charge the sticker that you just put on there, click place it, boom, done. So it's not so bad. Nope, I'm good. I'm being asked a question. Yeah, I'm redoing this because it's just not enough. It's just not enough. Okay, and if you're wondering, you know what? I'm gonna let you guess. You saw that my cake was green. So uh, anybody have a guess on the flavor that we're gonna be destroying <laughs> pretty soon? It's not apple. No, it's not a green apple. I can't imagine green apple as a cake. I don't know how good that would be. I feel like it might be weird. A watermelon. Nope, not watermelon. Pickle. That would be gross. For sure. Although they used to have that show, oh, it was like Cupcake Wars or something, where they would come up with crazy flavors like hot dog and french fry cupcakes. Pickle. Yeah, pickle cake. It's not pear. That's an interesting idea, too. Nope. Okay, it's not any, you guys are, I don't even know if you know this is a thing, but it is actually just 
vanilla cake with some green food coloring in it. And if I had made vanilla cake with green food coloring in it and like a tablespoon of cocoa powder and a little bit of buttermilk, it becomes a velvet cake, like red velvet cake. You can make blue velvet, pink velvet, green velvet if you wanted to. Yeah, so it was kind of a trick. It's just vanilla cake. <laughs> I'm keeping it simple. If I'm going to destroy it, I'm not going to go all out on it either. So ha, ha, ha. rainbow velvet. Yeah, you could like anything you could do velvet as long as you add a little cocoa powder to it, a little buttermilk, a little vinegar to make the reactions go. Okay. Okay, here's another question for you guys, because I have been rattling on about cakes long enough. Okay, is everybody, oh, do people are harassing Eva 13. That's not good. People are screaming out, oh my goodness, what is going on out there, guys? Okay, well, mm -hmm. I have to keep chugging along, so I hope everything works out. And I'm going to continue with my next question. It's a two-part answer, or two answers, I guess you could say. But there are two alternative dimensions to play in besides the main world. What are they? I know, you want some content, but you can't have any. Oh, someone got it right away. Cat Shift SF got it right away. Second and third, I don't know that one. Hello, Communist Dark Lord and the rest. <laughs> Another and and fox something I missed the name but yes the end and the nether wow the nether he's another dog yuck he licked me and normally I wouldn't be fondling my dog's nose while making a cake but no one's eating this so I can have a little more <laughs> a little leeway with it all right this is, I think will be good enough so I'm gonna move this over a little bit. I'm gonna get this off of here. Hmm. I'm gonna stick it on here. Sometimes when I um, cover things with fondant like this, I need it a little bit higher so I can get underneath the edge of it. And that's when I use whatever I happen to have laying around. And right now, there is a cake board underneath my cake. So I'm not just setting cake directly on top of this container of fake Crisco. Okay, clean up my edges a little bit. And this cake I had in the freezer and the fridge because I really didn't want it to move. And I don't know what the weather's like where you guys are. Am I making any cake streams after this? Yeah, I'm sure I will. As long as I see the stickers. <coughs> no, I'm kidding. I have a lot. I do enjoy doing this. I actually get really nervous doing this. Like I. I know it's going to come out okay, you know, but I just get nervous that it's, you guys are going to be like, oh, that's terrible, Blah. you know, like I, it's, it's, I don't want to disappoint you guys, is really how I, how I feel, I get nervous over things. All right. But yeah, I do plan on doing more. I actually have a couple things in my head right now that I'd like to try. Okay, so I got too much on a couple sides and not enough on another side. So I'm just gonna lift and shift. Lift and shift, baby. And that's all there is to it. And now, what you do with the square cakes is you gotta get the corners first. And you kind of press them in like that. And then you gotta go down, 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 like the little bit at the bottom was showing. Down, 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 and then get in that corner. And if you have too much, which I might, honestly, I might end up with a seam, you just cut it off and put that piece in the back and no one sees it, so it's all good. All right, now, once again, I'm blathering on. Okay. These are my fondant paddles, aptly named because they're made for smoothing fondant on your cake. And at first, I was always like, why are people freezing their cakes and, and their cakes are so cold? You know, nobody wants to eat a cold cake. Oh my gosh, you need a cold cake. Because <laughs> a cold cake can take a manhandling. 
you know, you can move it and you can handle it and you can press on it and it's not going to get damaged. Whereas if this was soft buttercream, like even Okay, enough about me, right? Okay, what is one item that you need in order to make any and all potions? Do you guys know this one? I would think you would. Enough for it. Hmm. No, no, no. The, well, yeah, you need a brewing stand, but... Another wart in order to make all of the potions? Okay, this might be different because I have a bottle. So I don't know if my my data is old <laughs> and updates have occurred and things are different now, or maybe there is two things now. I don't know, bottle, bottle. Wand, oh, I missed it, bottle. Yes, okay. <laughs> ah, you support two creators, that's nice. As long as one of them is me, then that's very nice. Okay, you know what? Yes, I think anybody who supports me gets sucks up points. So everybody gets 50. I'm gonna say 50. Okay. Now, I've got kind of a big drape going here. So I'm going to start cutting this extra piece off. And the tricky part is finding the bottom of my cake without cutting it too much. I need scissors. I'll be right back. Snip, snip. Okay. <laughs> Gamer boy, you don't get sucker points. You're still negative. When you support me, then you get sucker points again. Remember the shame? Feel the shame. <laughs> Freddy Fazbear, no sad face. Suck up boy, or <laughs> suck up boy. Jeez, gamer boy is actually okay. He is just fine. I know him. He's good. He can take he can take teasing. Oh, he's sucking up so hard. I don't know. We're trying too hard. I think that's another negative 10 suck up points. <laughs> Chip the skeleton, yes. You can have extra suck up points too. You can have give yourself an extra 20 suck up points. <laughs> oh, and I like the Bob Ross. Whoever had that, they can have some sucker points too. Uh, I'm going to say 15 because Bob Ross was cool. All right, so got enough trimmed off here. I'm just going to try to start tucking it, which may or may not work. I'm going to end up with lots of ugly ripples underneath. But that's okay because I'll just cut them off again. All right, in the meantime, guys. Okay, this is just kind of a little, I don't know if anybody's gonna get this, it's just kind of guessing. But yes, I hope it I hope it works like that. I really do. The exploding cake, yes. Um anyway, yeah. In the UK, which means Chip the Skeleton might get this one. In the UK, enough copies of Minecraft have been sold that each person who lives in the UK could have how many copies? Did I say that right? Yeah. How many copies of the game purchased in the UK for residents to each have how many? So it's just kind of a random guess unless you're like seriously on with your Minecraft game. <laughs> okay, 42 is way too high. Two is very close, <laughs> but it's not two. Three is getting closer. Five is close too. Both of those are very hot. Oh, wait, someone, someone's out. Okay. Uh, <laughs> 2 point oh oh oh. <laughs> okay, I'm going to give you guys a second to guess while I trim this off because I got a lot of guesses coming in. It's not two. It's go it, I said it's between two and five somewhere. All right, did I say that? Whoops, if I didn't, I just, I did now. Okay, <laughs> yeah, all right, yes, it's four. There have been enough copies sold that every resident of the UK gets 
four each. And I have no idea why that's a thing. Like people in the UK keep losing their copies or something. I don't know why that's like that. Oh, maybe they get, mm, I wonder if it's like updates or something or new versions. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, speaking of which, yeah, guys, how, uh, what do you play? What do you play Minecraft on? Do you, are you switching it? Are you Xboxing it? Like, what are you, PCing it? What do you guys do? How do you play it? Because when my kids and I would play and we would murder all the villagers, um, we were doing it Xbox, which I liked. I got to say, I liked it. And I'm pretty sure my one son has it for the Switch, but doesn't play it much on the Switch because it doesn't prefer it. Oh, on the phone, dang. And PC, yeah. Oh yeah, the mods are better for sure. Yes, <laughs> but Babbling Bendu, Bendu, have you gotten your custom skin yet? Because I saw that you were had your eye on a Star Wars themed one. Play it versus play it on the phone, play it. Yeah, sorry, I won't do that again. I can be cringy sometimes. Yeah, so I'm still trimming, as you can see. So what's one out anyway? Looks like PCP, or PCs I mean. I got player versus player in my head. Pocket edition is trash. Um, I'm not gonna disagree, however. <laughs> To be nice to the people who have pocket edition, I'm just gonna say, hmm. Cause I did try playing the pocket edition. Just one of those times I was bored and I'm like, oh, I'll just put this on my phone. I'll just carry it everywhere. And then I was like, nope, not for me. Cause I tell my boys when they try something they don't like, it's not for you. It doesn't stink, it's not terrible. It's just not for you. It just sounds a little nicer. Okay. So the head is going to be just about headed. Okay. Got a few little wrinkles in here, but try to buff them out. All right. Okay. You need a cringe card. <laughs> you know what? That could be a, a new... Thing added, it's just a little cringy face in the emojis they give us. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm gonna just have to stop because I'll just stand here and play with these edges for hours. Trying to make them a little sharper. It looks a lot like the gum paste one I made, how it's like mostly squared, but you're gonna see a little curve around it. Nice face, yes. <laughs> I like that. I like the stickers. Thank you for that, guys. I do appreciate it. I really do. And if I do get enough stickers, I was telling my, my son that, you know, because he was making fun of me not having the Minecraft t-shirt to wear. <sighs> Can you believe, like, Minecraft t-shirts aren't for sale in Walmart anymore? Like, I went there looking, thinking, like, oh, I'll just get one from Walmart. No. Mm -mm. Nope. Just toddlers. And I actually squeezed into a toddler one and it was obscene and offensive. So you're welcome for not wearing it. <laughs> All right, that's that for now. Now, what am I gonna do? I can either put the face on this now or I can get back to the legs and cover the legs up and then build them from the ground up and finish it. So bad dog, stop bumping. <laughs> Sorry guys. We tried leaving them loose this time instead of putting them in their kennel. So anyway, I could do the face now or back to the legs and do the face at the end. Now or end, now or end, let me know. Let me know, leg, leg, okay. Do it more like a big reveal at the end kind of thing. Leg, leg, legs, yes, okay. Big reveal, feels fun, yes, legs. Oh, fox guy, foxtail, okay. Okay, yeah, overwhelmingly, yes, yes, yes. All right, and say goodbye to Mr. Creeperhead because he's going back in the fridge. Ooh, sticky. And then I'm going to have to roll more fondant. Yay, which means I need something else to put this on. Give me a second. Perfect. 
Oops. Perfecto. Okay, here come my mingy legs. And now I need to oh so carefully lift this up. And if you are wondering, yes, I have dropped cakes before and it makes me cry. <laughs> Oh, it's so bad. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's a lot. I've, oh, you have no idea. Oh my goodness. No idea. One time I was making this cake and it was a baby shower cake, I think. And it was a big fat ball cake of an owl sitting in a big round cake nest and it was adorable. And I was going to the sink and I did one of these and I like bumped the counter and it went and flop right into the sink. And I had to start all over, and oh my gosh, I was not a pleasure to be around at that point, let me tell you. I was so sad. Oh, it was terrible. Oh my goodness, but yeah. And even the Minecraft, this creeper cake, I almost dropped part of it earlier today. I was putting it in the fridge and uh, fumbled it, but fortunately caught it. So if you're wondering what I'm doing here, I can reuse some of this fondant as long as there's not the icing on it. So I just rip the pieces of icing off and then keep the rest. So reduce, reuse, recycle, baby. Yeah, the dogs did not get the cake that I dropped. It went in the garbage because at that point I was like full on raging as well as being, you know, upset because yeah, sometimes you gotta, you gotta rage quit, right? All right, while I'm doing this, and you guys don't need to just stand here and watch me. Okay, what was game? <laughs> I'm looking at the screen, I see Game Jolt. I'm like, what was Game Jolt originally gonna be called? What was Minecraft's original name going to be? I'd expect you guys to know this one. Some of you might not. But I'd expect you guys, most of you to get this one. Yeah, yeah, Terraria 1 Roblox. I swear Roblox is a copy of it. It's like its little brother. Yeah, block square, what, what? Gamer boy, what are you doing to me, man? Ruby Dung, <laughs> Minecraft. Yeah, there's a bunch of them. Um, actually, I don't know about the Ruby Dung one, but I do, I had it as the cave game. So, uh, that's what I knew it as, so yeah. If you got cave game, then give yourself 10 sucker points. And if you're Gamer Boy 14, I have no idea what you're saying. <laughs> you're 162, you're actually keeping score. Ah, oh, look at you, you gotta. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, remember guys, the points mean nothing. <laughs> Although, if I do get my Minecraft t-shirt, if I earn enough of my stickers, then I will take a picture and show it to you guys so you can see where your stickers have gone. <laughs> But anyway, all right, yes, my lovely legs. Yes, lovely, lovely legs. Let's see what we can do to make these a little more palatable. All right, first I'm gonna start by cleaning off this cake plate. <coughs> see where we're at. And I don't know for you guys who have dogs out there, do you have a very, very, very barky dog? Or do you have like nice, calm, quiet dogs? because I have one of each. And it's funny because the big one, you got two of them? Yeah. You got both, yeah, quiet, yeah. Barky and quiet, yep. Yeah, I've got one of each. And it's funny because the little one is like the barky boss and the big one is just like, okay, I'm gonna do whatever you say because you're the boss and you're louder than me, I guess. <coughs> the annoying little sister that she is. All right, what am I gonna do for this? I think I'm gonna just lay it over the entire thing and then just kind of press down in the center. Let's see how that, five loud dogs. Five is a lot of dogs. I'm gonna assume they're, oh, maybe they're little dogs. Are they inside or outside dogs? Because five is a lot of dogs. And Gamer Boy 14 I already said that I have two labs. 
if you are paying attention, <laughs> you will remember this. A chocolate and a black lab. And they're, they are good dogs. I do love them. Oh, the smaller ones here. Let's see. Come here, Jenichi. You ready? Ugh. Say hello, internet world. I don't know if you can see her. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, she's little. She's like down here. <laughs> And again, normally I wouldn't be handling my dogs while making cakes, so this is actually a lot of fun for me. <laughs> Jenny, Shh. Good girl. Sometimes she listens. <laughs> Good girl, leave it. Okay. Yeah, so anyway, back to this. Yeah, I'm going to try laying it over both of them at the same time, then squishing down in the center. And... Go from there. I'm gonna use my smaller rolling pin now. Uh, too many times at once. Oh, I didn't see your comment, Shadow Bonnie. What did you say? It's hard because I look down a lot when I'm doing these cakes, so I'm not missing comments on purpose, guys. I apologize. It's just a little tough. I'm doing a lot of up and down looking. Fortnite Real. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm I have it both going. Yes, I have a phone right here next to me. My problem is I can't do this and do like this. <laughs> I have to look at what I'm doing. I'm not that good. Maybe one day I'll be more talented. And then I'll charge extra stickers to watch me work because I'll be like a beast. Okay. So yeah, going with that. It'll cover the legs. Yeah, I'm gonna have to tuck it. No lie, I'm gonna have to tuck it, but yeah, that'll work. Oh, Game Joke gets lots of sucker prints, by the way. Ooh, ooh, how many though? Mm, I'm gonna say like 75. That was a nice compliment. Okay. So I'm wrapping it around, making a mess of it. And because I got these ugly little flaps in the back, I'm gonna just trim them off. All right. But if I trim it properly enough, you're not even gonna say it. Oh, I remembered something. Okay, yeah, I didn't mean to do this yet. Okay, we're gonna undo this and pretend it never happened. Because right now, I gotta do the body first. So, yes, I'm putting this aside, putting it back in the fridge. Pretending it never happened. Erase it from your memories. Ugh. Okay, this is what I needed to do next. My bad, guys. Sorry about that. These things... <laughs> Vector, you're going to lose points, buddy. <laughs> Giving me a hard time. How dare you? Okay. All right, do over. Pretending that didn't happen, Vector. Okay. Oh, somebody. I'll be right back. I have another drama. My goodness. I'm glad my life isn't that complicated. Ha ha. All right. So, anyway, we're going to go on to another trivia question. So, I'm sure you're wondering how many, how long did it take for the developers to create the first version of Minecraft? How long do you think it took them? Did it take them days, months, weeks, years? How long did it take to create the first version of Minecraft? I'm kind of impressed by, honestly. <laughs> Four days, a few months, two months, six days, six days, six days, six days, one month. That's, mm, yeah, um, some of you guys have nailed it. I'm going to let you have a few more guesses, though, because I enjoy seeing the guesses. It makes me feel like you're uh, talking to me. So as I stand here talking to myself and my dogs in my kitchen, I don't feel quite so crazy. Six days. I make projects longer than that. Three or two months, I guess. Renew. Uh, 
created in six days. Yes. Uh, yes. Okay. So yes, yeah, six days, six days was the answer I ended up with that I got. So yeah, six days, which is crazy to me to develop an entire game, but I guess it was just the first version. And of course, everybody knows the whole, uh, creeper lore, right? Where the creepers came from. Oh, I got crumbs on my fondant. Oh, no. Okay. So, yeah, tell me, guys, how did the creeper come to be since I'm making a creeper here? Tell me, tell me, tell me. I see one comment already. They flipped the body wrong. They're messed up. <laughs> Scoliosis. Yeah, I guess we're like crazy bone growth or something. Notch was trying to do a pig and ended up creating the creeper. Pig problem, pig problem. Yes, pig problem, pig problem is correct. Yeah, I think most people know that though. All right, now this I am going to wrap. I'm not going to um, lay it over the top because the head is going to sit on the top and I don't want to waste the fondant to cover it because I don't have that much. So I'm going to just wrap it around and it will go into the back and you won't even see the seam because I won't show it to you, huh? <laughs> All right, I got an easier question for you. This is just a crafting question. How many blocks of iron, no, to make one iron ingot, how many blocks of iron ore do you need? Where the heck is my knife? I'm gonna look for my knife while you do that, while you answer me. Mm -hmm. Oh, here it is. Right where I left it. So, 11, 11, 1, 1, 9, 1, 9, 9, what? <laughs> Shadow Bonnie. Okay, how many blocks of iron ore do you need to make an iron ingot? One nine, yeah, that, that looks good. Three, two, one, point one, three. <laughs> it is just one. Yeah, just one, which I'm pretty sure most of you guys knew. So good for you. I need six inches tall. So I'm gonna cut it a little bit taller. And I just free stuff, freehand stuff. So sometimes it's not perfect, but it's close enough. Yes, when did this fireside start? Oh, okay. Um, I can't quite PVZ gamer. Um, it started at four o'clock. It was advertised. So yeah, if you want to catch another one, no problem. And please stick around for this one. But just look for the advertisements that all of us creators are being advertised very nicely by Game Joel. So we're not too hard to find. All right, here comes the wrap. See that? I almost dumped the cake right off the back of this cake stand. And I don't know how far around it's going to go, but again, you're not going to see the back, so I ain't going to show it to you. Mm -hmm. it does have to go high enough, though. Okay. got my son creeping around next to me. I don't know why. But anyway, I think he wants the kitchen. And that's the good thing about doing these cakes is I take over the kitchen. I can I have all the power here to be like, get out of the kitchen. <laughs> Just like that. And he scurries away. But anyway, I'm just being silly. He's actually allowed in the kitchen. Just not during the lot of fireside. All right. Okay. Anyway, back to Minecraft. What do you make out of sugar cane? I mean, besides sugar, obviously. What can you make? <laughs> What's nine plus 10? Nine plus 10 is the same thing that uh, you get when you make something out of sugar cane. Except it's a, a physical form instead of a numerical form. Yeah, remember how I said it wouldn't fit? Like you wouldn't see the back and I wouldn't show you? 
this is how nice I am. <laughs> you can see how sometimes things just don't work out and it's okay because you're not going to see it anyway. When I do this, it's like perfect. And that's why sometimes when I make these videos and clips and things, I've had people say, oh, it looks so easy. You make it look, so I'm like, yeah, because I tried like 17 times. You just don't see that part. So I've had people be like, oh, I could never do what you did. Yeah, you could. You just practice like anything else. I see some of the stuff you guys draw and create. And it is amazing to me because I don't think I could do that. And then it's like, well, I guess if I learned how, you know, like anything else in the world, if you have someone to teach you and a desire to try, that's all you need, right? Okay, so we're going to ignore the back. The back is perfect. So we're only gonna look at the front because the back is so good, we don't even need to look at it anymore. There we go, all right. Now, I'm gonna stick this in the freezer for a few minutes. Like I said, it's humid here, and um, there's a little bit of condensation on my buttercream icing. And so it's making the fondant a little slippery. That's why I keep doing up, up, up strokes with it. So if I stick it in the freezer, the fondant will get very cold and stiff. And I know I said it didn't, um, yeah, keep the Bob Rosses going. The, st the streaks are fun to see. I like those. I forget which one I had last time. It was like some dude's head. It wasn't Bob Ross though. But anyway, um, I lost track of what I was saying. Yes, stick it in the freezer. The fondant will get nice and firm and then it shouldn't slide anymore as long as it sets before it gets too soggy. Okay, so be right back. Okay. All right. In the meantime, what does a llama eat? Ooh, look at those Bob Rosses. I love it. That's great. <laughs> what does a llama eat? And yes, I'm sorry, guys. Paper. Yes. Sugar cane is made into paper. Yes. Like you guys really know your stuff. I haven't been very stumpy with any of you. Get it stumpy because a creeper's got little stumps he runs around. <laughs> I love the Bob Rosses, they're great. That's fun. Oh, that's fun. I like them. I didn't even know there were different versions of Bob Ross. He got his realistic face and then his sunshine and happy little happy little clouds face. That's great. <laughs> okay. Wheat is one of the things that a llama will eat. What else will they eat? I just started paying attention again. Ah, oh, Bob Ross. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Hay bales. Yes, Shadow Bonnie nailed it. Yep. Ah, oh, more of them. Yes, I love my Bob Rosses. Okay, someone threw the TNT and broke the streak. Eh, I don't care. It's fine. <laughs> I still like Bob Ross. <laughs> Stickers are still fun to get, no matter what. Okay. I lost my trash can. I keep my trash can right next to me, so when you see me throwing things off the edge, it's not actually going on the floor. All right, I'm gonna roll out some more fondant. Ooh, Creepy Sonic, I like it. Okay. So. Yes, anyway, a llama, hay bales, and wheat, yes. What is the only animal, and I guess you could say mob, whatever, but I'm gonna say animal. What is the only animal on Minecraft that you can't tame, or name one of the animals you can't tame? I was honestly surprised to find this out. You might know other ones than me. Now, is a pig tamed if you can saddle it and ride it? I kind of felt like if it's going to go where you want, then it's kind of like quasi-tamed, like the horses. No. <laughs> okay, yeah, Vector, if you can get in here, yeah, ask a question. Like I said, I do take questions. I don't always answer them because I might not know, but you can ask away. I'm just going to have to pay attention. Zombie creeper. <laughs> the one that I heard was chicken, that you can't domesticate chickens. Ah, uh, PVZ Gamer 12K. Man, you chose some interesting 
uh, letters for your name. If you're all charged, you know where to stick them. You can stick them right here in my heart. Oh. <laughs> Is that when the cringe filter comes in again? <laughs> what can the pandas eat besides bamboo? Vector the vampire is asking, what can the pandas eat besides bamboo? So I have no idea. And if someone else can answer it, let's go. Grass cake. I like cake. Yeah, charged cookie. Nice. Wheat. So Victor, you're going to have to ask, uh, give us the answer because um, you saw the answer. Okay. It, I don't think it's, maybe it's cake. You know what? They do a cake in Minecraft because I made a cake for Minecraft before. It was cool looking. I liked it. They eat cake. Oh, you guys nailed it. And Vic, Vic, Vector. Oh, I am going to keep messing up your name and I apologize for that. However, love the question. Love the fact that the answer is cake because obviously. And so I'm going to give you like mm, 51 sucker points. That was a good one. Oh, I keep doing this. Oh my gosh. Yeah. The reason I keep doing this is because I keep forgetting. And now I'm going to show you why. Okay. Taking the body back out. Now, this is where it's going to get a little tricky for me. Not just because I can't remember anything. Let me that out of the way. But because this, see, even though I was in there for only a couple minutes, it really set up. This is going on top of here, and this is going to give us that elevated look and feel. Say, huh, huh, coming together, not too shabby, not too shabby. But what I'm going to have to do is um, I'm going to have to do this separately, like put a layer on the top and then around the sides, because I'm going to have to cover this little cake board too that I got going here. And when you see things like this, um, when people do have things like this that they're covering up, they just put icing on it. And you just bring it up to the thickness of the cake board, and then it's like it never even happened. So hopefully I can make this work. Because this kind of a process normally I would be doing over a much longer period of time. I'd be like, okay, putting on one coat of icing, now I'll let it chill. Okay, put on another coat of icing. Now let it chill. Okay, don't touch it for a long time so it really sets. Like I'm kind of hurrying because so I don't want to waste your guys' entire evening. Just part of it. But you see how it's now all one level? So when it covers, gets covered, it'll be nice and smooth and you won't have a big step in the middle of his leg. And it's silly little things like that that I fret over. And I'm like, how can I do this so that it looks halfway decent? Because I need your approval. Okay, so yeah, so you can kind of, it looks a little cleaner now, right? That is a creepy face. Did you know that frog face? Have I done a mm, B O T W cake? I don't know what BOTW is off the top of my head. Help me out here. Breath of the Wild, thank you, my goodness. No, I haven't, and I haven't done a Link cake or Zelda cake or any other cake like that either. And I find that disappointing because I like Breath of the Wild a lot. I only got to play it once when my son borrowed a friend's game. <laughs> so that was the only time I got to try it. But I love open worlds where you can just wander, you know, where you can just do whatever you want. And I did whatever I wanted and my link ran around half naked the entire time because I didn't care if he got cold or didn't have clothes on because I wasn't doing the quests. I was just running around. Thoroughly enjoyed it. But no, no, I haven't. And there's a new game coming out too, right? Like another sequel to Breath of the Wild. Yeah, right. What's it called? Help me out here, guys. Buying Breath of the Wild, I charge. Tears of the Kingdom, yes, thank you. Yeah, it looks pretty cool, I'm not going to lie. But again, I like that kind of game, so. Not going to own it, of course, because that costs money. That I'm not going to, I don't know. I just don't have a lot of time. What I'm trying to do is measure out how tall my legs are. 
so I can trim it and get a better size here. Okay. Rappy, rappy. All right, that'll cover the front. Now what I'm gonna do with this piece is I'm gonna cut it right down the center because I don't wanna lose that effect that I got going where I've got the two separate little legs. Okay. All right, here's another question for you guys. What happens if you're swimming and you end up swimming near a dolphin? What effect does it have on you? Dolphins are, dolphins graze, yeah. They eat you. <laughs> Those would be the sharks and, and I think that's more Fortnite too, isn't it? Aren't the sharks in Fortnite? They help you, yes, they make you go faster is what I have, is that accurate? Because I've actually not played with the new animals. I haven't played in a long time. I gotta go raid some villages again, that was fun. Yes, okay. Oh, okay, someone's got a question. For occasion of the 10 years of, oh, okay. For the 10th anniversary of Minecraft's release, what did they add to the cake? That's a fun question. Okay, so guys, what did they add to the cake for the 10th anniversary? So if it came out in 2011, yeah, it's 11 years old now. What did they add? I would guess a 10 somewhere on it or maybe candles. So I don't know what's the answer here. I gotta. Keep scrolling. 10, 10, is that right? Oh, I saw a vector. Yes, they added the 10. And someone asked, what's the most complicated cake I ever made? Um, I made a fairy tale cake and it was a bunch of different children's stories. So it was um, a lot of Dr. Seuss stuff, Curious George. What is that one with the rabbit? Goodnight Moon, I think it is, when he's in bed and it's the little bunny kid in the bed with the cat by the fire, which is creepy on its own. But yeah, it was uh, several layers or several tiers tall. And yeah, I'll put it on if I can find it. Put a TNT on the cake. <laughs> um, if I can find the cake, I'll post it. It was a long time ago, but it was several tiers tall. And I had the top tier as the cats, the cat in the hat's hat. And on top of it was the fish bowl that is in the cat and hat story, the fish that keeps like, no, your mother will not like this, that one. And um, I had that balanced on top of the hat and the hat was a little crooked. And then the fish was coming out of the hat. So that with all the little characters, that was probably the most complicated I've ever made. It was a lot of fun though, I gotta say, because that was one of the times I've worked with styrofoam. So the fish bowl was a styrofoam bowl. Say, huh, huh, yeah, right? Come on, send them stickers. Let's see them, let's see them. My creeper needs a face. Give him a face and a head. <laughs> let's see some more Bob Ross creeper head. <laughs> yes, there you go. He's a shocked little creeper. <laughs> All right. Nice, he's got lips and a bag head, yes. Uh-huh, yep. There it is, the bot. Yeah, I, ooh, I like that with the mouth. Oh, Steve is perfect. Mm hmm, mm hmm. And he's drinking, some, I'm gonna say it's iced coffee because that's what I want right now. Although all I have is my iced juice. So, mm -hmm. trying to be healthier. And where I am, it's like five o'clock at night. And when you get old like me, you don't need coffee at five o'clock at night. Oh, goodness. Okay, that icing stuck to me. Okay, so do you guys know what BAFTA is, the BAFTA Awards? Just like a little yes or no, no, okay. Yeah, it's, we had to look it up. Hang on, Vector, we'll get to you. I gotta ask questions too, oh wait, oh, there we go. Ah, there. <laughs> um, BAFTA is British something television film and TV awards. It's like an award for, in Britain, British, yeah. And um, the question is, how many BAFTA awards has Minecraft won? So far as I found the question in the quiz online. So it might be more at this point, but we'll go with that. How many do you want to guess? It's, it's more of a guess. 
It's not a crazy number. Five, five, like 10,000. 10,000 is too high. Five is more real, mm, excuse me, more realistic. Okay, I'm gonna cover the top of this now while you're guessing. Uh, seven, chip the skeleton, guess seven. Again, a little bit high. So think a little bit lower. Six is a good guess, but a little too high. Okay, I'll tell you what, five is getting warmer. Six was cooler, five is warmer. How's that? Four is warmer. Three, three, three. Yes, three. It won three BAFTA awards, and I have no idea why, because if it's a film and TV award, I don't know why a game would get it, unless they do games too. But I don't exactly follow the BAFTA awards. So yeah, I'll just take a little, little grace. All right. Now I'm gonna have to kind of cheat on this a bit because even though my creeper's legs are parted in the center here, I do have the cake board at the top that's connected. So I'm gonna have to just kind of fudge it a little. And once again, nobody will even know the difference by the time I'm done with it. So I'm gonna lay it and I'm going to just go straight up the side with my knife and make a print. And this will tell me where I need to cut. Oh, a Demon Slayer cake would be awesome, yes. Yeah, see, I got a nice little map now. Yes, that would be a lot of fun. Don't even get me started on Demon Slayer, okay? So I would go off. <laughs> Do it, JoJo's. I am not as big of a fan of JoJo as I am of Demon Slayer. It certainly has its place, but um, we could do, what was the Corgi's name in JoJo? I forget, it was like a German number or something. Okay, Vector, when opening up the Guardian's jar file, what can you see in the file? Minecraft game file based question. When opening up the Guardian's jar file, what can you see in the file? <laughs> I'm going to say your own immortality staring back at you, which I don't think is accurate. How would you picture immortality or mortality? Ooh, unless it has immortality in it, in which case, awesome. An egg question. Someone else has a question? All right, I think. What is your favorite food besides cake? Okay, cake is not my favorite food. I'm just gonna get that out there right now. I certainly like it. And I have certainly eaten plenty of it that I think I'd be good for the rest of my life if I didn't eat any more cake. But um, I really enjoy sushi and sashimi. And I like a lot of seafood, just a lot of seafood, different kinds of seafood. I like all different kinds of seafood. I really want to try, um, I don't know what it's called properly, but uh, sea urchin eggs. You use the uh, gonads out of sea urchins to make sushi, uni, uni maybe? I'd like to try that, but here in Pennsylvania, you know, we don't have a large sushi eating population. So I probably have to go to New York or somewhere like that to really get something worthwhile. It's okay. I am just gonna trim this bit off for my scissors. Uh, okay, nobody got it, yeah. Jeb's name, oh, someone said Jeb. Fox Guy Foxtail got it. Oh, Babbling Bendu got it. You know how sad it is? I had to actually Google what a Bendu was because I got really curious one day. When I see people's names and I don't know what they are, I tend to look them up. What is my favorite show? Oof. Um, I don't, hmm, I don't really have one. It kind of depends, I guess, on the mood I'm in. Like, I, if I'm feeling like sad and just want something comforting, comforting to watch, I like to watch Golden Girls. If I'm looking for something that is just lighthearted and just funny. I'll watch um, Gravity Falls, the reruns there. Uh, but I don't have like a favorite show. There was a time that we were, when Breaking Bad was out, I would have said that would have been my favorite show. 
and I totally went came away feeling like I could make meth <laughs> because I was like I could do that <laughs> and I was gonna walk around making people say my name <laughs> but anyway yeah so what's your favorite game and have I made a cake for it Oof, uh, Smash Brothers I thoroughly enjoy Smash Brothers and yes I have made a cake for Smash Brothers which I thoroughly enjoy doing it was for my son when he was little but it was the original Smash Brothers not the nerfed well I shouldn't say that not the new I didn't even drink this not the new Wii U version of it where they you know destroy pit because I love to use pit because it would annoy everybody and I would just like fly around and shoot everybody with arrows and laugh as they'd be like, rah, can't reach you. Rah, rah, rah. And I was like, ha ha ha. So yes, <laughs> I, I really enjoyed that. And I did make a, a cake for Smash Bros. It was of the Ice Climbers and K Pikachu or Kirby, I think. Ike. And then Ike getting eaten by the fish. It was on the Ice Climber level where they're on the big iceberg that slides across the screen and tilts and everything. And the fish comes up and yeah pretty sure i posted that one and if i didn't i'll try to find it it was fun i like that one okay so he's got his front legs he's got his torso the back is perfect so we're not looking at it i'm gonna add a little bit more to down bottom here just to clean up that look a little bit and then we're moving on then we're gonna get to the head I'm gonna have to put some sticks in here to support the weight of the head because otherwise I think it'll crush it. So yeah, we're getting there guys, we're getting there. Okay, well, what am I doing? I don't even know anymore. Okay, all right, so what mob is terrified of ocelots? That's my question du jour or de moment. Yeah, the creeper. I had to have a few creeper themed, creepery questions in here, right? It's only apropos that I do that. But that was too easy. Okay. Um, what do evokers drop? Let's see if you guys know this one. This is too tall. Do you guys know what evokers drop? Oh, yeah, vectors on it. I do like the stickers. Totems, totems. What kind of totems? Hector already said it, but I'm asking again anyway. Oh, someone's trying to sneak in the closet over here. I don't know if you guys can hear this going on. You see what the disrespect I get. I'm here making a cake for you guys. I'm getting disrespect for my own family. At least you guys give me Bob Ross stickers. So yeah, the totems of the undying. Yes. Ooh, dropping my on that pedal here. Okay, once again, I am um, going to just show it from this way so that it looks a little nicer. The Bob Rosses are back, yay. Okay, and it's okay, you don't have to do a streak, it's okay. They're fun, but it's all right. Okay, so I'm gonna trim this a little bit more and then move on. Okay, where can you find a husk? Again, these aren't too hard. You guys should know these. And if not, then I'll have to dig out the, the shame meme or the shame gif from Handsmaid's to No, Game of Thrones. The shame, shame. <laughs> the desert, yes, the desert. The first time I saw one, I was like, what the heck is that? Like they really messed up on that guy. But anyway, I digress. Okay, so, okay. Got this going. Ooh, thank you for the charged poppy. I like that. He's cute. It's all purpley and cute. Okay. Now, here's something super duper easy. How did... Oh my goodness. Yeah, sorry guys. I apologize. But how <laughs> did one third of the players that play Minecraft learn of it, its existence? It kind of surprised me. I didn't know this. So how did one third learn about, oh, hey, welcome back. It's not YouTube, no. And it's kind of makes sense, like, if you think about it, like, once you think about it. 
<laughs> your sister told you about <laughs> someday i'm going to have quiet dogs again but yeah so one third of the people learned about the game's existence just through word of mouth it was just people telling people they actually did very little um advertising little very little to no advertising for the game and it was word of mouth on social media oh on social media so maybe youtube does count i, I guess you're right so yeah i was kind of surprised just when i heard it but if you think about it it's like i've never seen a minecraft commercial ever <laughs> so yeah You guys can't see what I'm doing. I put a top on, oh, I gotta move it too. There we go. I put a top on the legs here and I'm just trying to pinch the two little seams together a little bit more so that it looks a little neater. Okay, just like that. And again, since it's the back of the cake and I can see it, you'll just have to trust me when I say it's perfect. Like I nailed it in the back, it's, it's perfect. Okay, so there you go, see, see, it's like, don't, don't turn it anymore. Yeah, okay. And I gotta get the icing off the cake board. That ruins the illusion. All right, turning my page. <laughs> what name is given to the villager who can't trade? I never played Minecraft. That's okay, you don't have to have played it. You at least have seen enough of the outside world to know what a creeper looks like. So you're good. You don't have to worry about anything. We just do these questions for fun. So it's no pressure. And I give suck up points. So if you just compliment me enough, you know, you can earn points. Or give me a charge sticker. You can earn some points that way too. Useless. <laughs> uh, actually, I heard it was nitwit. Does that sound right to you guys? Is it nitwit? Ugh. Okay, now, he's good. I'm gonna stick him in the fridge. I'm gonna pull out the head. We're gonna put the face on. And then I have some squares to put on to just kind of highlight and accent him a bit. Ooh, I dropped fondant on my foot. Ugh. And then I think we'll be good. He should look good. So until then, I'm gonna stick some sticks in him. Okay, someone has a question. In a one in 10,000 chance, what will happen on the main menu screen? I don't know that. You did a, oh, Chip, you're one from a full charge. That's all right. I'm not going anywhere. You can find me tomorrow if you need to. So these are bamboo dowels, wooden dowels. They are made for cakes. And I'm pushing it all the way down until I feel it hit the cake board underneath. The cake board is pressing on those um, plastic little feet that are inside the feet, remember those? So that way it's all supported. And I just need my clippers. Okay, Minecraft, Minecraft, Minecraft. Oh, the E and the C switch places in Minecraft? Oh, that's probably what you were writing when said Minecraft, Minecraft, Minecraft. I told you. Oh, Chip the Skeleton told you. You guys know your stuff. Okay, now, okay, let's see, that's too easy, too easy, too easy. How many types of flowers are there? Has any of you cared enough to sit there and count the flowers? <laughs> Some of these questions are crazy. 12 is actually a good guess. <laughs> uh. It's not 12 though, it's not 12, but 12 is a good guess. 14 is a little closer, yeah. It's not a terrible guess either. All right, one more. 15, 17. Well, um, whoever said 17, I missed your name. Chip said 17, six. Oh, you're just rambling off numbers and guessing. You gotta commit, man, pick a number and stick to it. But yes, whoever said 17, yes. 20 suck up points for that one. You know what? No, that was hard. You get 30 suck up points for that one. That was just good guessing. Okay. Uh, these are too easy. 
Okay, here you go. This was actually a pretty cool update. After which update was the cross-platform play enabled? So do you guys know the name of it? <laughs> You're gonna find more kid questions. Don't look at the back. What are you guys doing? Never look at the back. It's perfect, remember? So yeah, what, I lost my question. Uh, after which update was the cross-platform play enabled? Ooh, mixed together is super close. Uh, better together, yes. Better together. And I love when any game comes up with a cross-platform play. I love that so much because you got people who are so limited in something, you know, because they can't afford every single gaming console or whatever, that now they have a chance to play with everybody and anybody. So I love the cross-platforms when they come out. Okay, I'm going to grab his head. We're going to stick it on and it's... Then I'm going to make the face and add some details and keep going. Okay. Okay. But in, in the meantime, one more question. <laughs> this one I kind of liked. What is the sound made by guests? Okay. No, let me rephrase that. What real animal did they use the sound of to make the sounds of guests? And you can just tell me in a second. Okay. You okay? Mm -hmm. Stalker. Uh, meow, 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 meow. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, 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 meow. Yes, it's a cat. Meow, meow, meow. It's a cat. Meow, flushing the toilet. All right. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why, but it must have been the perfect sound. Okay. Meow, meow, meow. Okay. Coming together, right? <laughs> okay. Now this is cold, but my hands are warm, so I don't want to mess it up too much. I'm going to put a little bit of icing on it, just so that it can stick. A little fresh icing. And the icing, like you see how it hangs onto my spatula here? It's going to grab onto the cake plate that's under the creeper's head and not let go. So it'll keep it nice and stable. And hopefully between the sticks and the board, and the legs. It's gonna just stand up perfect. Okay. Dun da da dun. Ah, there we go. Oh, he's got a big wrinkle in his face there. Hmm. And you know what you do if you don't like something, like he's got the big wrinkle here? I'm just gonna turn it. Ta-da! Now it's perfect! <laughs> that is what you can do when you've got cake all stacked up here. And I gotta say, like, kind of messing with it a little bit, he feels pretty stable. I'm going to try to move this along because I would rather, like my Five Nights at Freddy's, it fell after the fireside was over. So I'm going to get this done so you don't see him fall over if he's going to. <laughs> but he's not going to because it's perfect. Darn it. Right. All right. I am going to put him in the fridge, though, because this is kind of freaking me out. In the meantime, I'm going to measure his face. Four by five and a half. So I have an idea what size face to make. Hmm. Is he going to fit in there? Okay. Here we go. Moving the cake. Wish me luck. I will. This will be one of those things where I cry and throw it in the garbage in a fit of rage if I drop them. I got it. It's not going to fit. Yep, it's not going to fit. So he's going to have to sit here with us until some off-screen repairs are being made. In the meantime, you can keep admiring him. <laughs> Can't tell. Is he sitting straight? Oh yeah, he's sitting straight. Okay. All right, I'm going to slide him over. The refrigerator is being worked on. And that's one of the problems when you have a really tall cake and a regular refrigerator and you do this out of your kitchen is it doesn't always fit. So, yes. All right, guys. All right, now I'm going to make his face regardless. So, I may as well start there. I'm using my handy-dandy glass pane. This is what I work on so that I don't cut up my countertop too much. Does this mean uh, gas 
is also part cat. I think ghasts are the souls of dead cats. I think that's what happens when you murder a cat in Minecraft, it becomes a ghast. If they die of natural causes, then they go to cat heaven. So be nice to the cats and the ocelots, guys. Okay, right, the face. Now I did have some questions. Well, just one really. I'm gonna make him not spin so you can only see his good side. When I make my creeper, I'm gonna give give him, um, you know, of course the creeper face. But since I'm going to try to blow him up, I didn't know if I should make his eyes, you know, how they turn like a little red when they get angry and they're gonna blow up. Should I have like a little red square in the eyes or just leave it all black? So let me know, red and red little square of anger or <laughs> just stick to black. Yeah, the cats will haunt you as guests. We covered this. This is unknown Minecraft lore I'm giving you right now. Made up in my head on the spur of the moment. Red. So I got one red, one black. And still, <laughs> I like that OG black. Well, what I could do is I could do the black and then on the day that I'm gonna blow him up, I could change it to the red for when he gets destroyed. I could do that. So a little bit of both. One red and one black. So he's like not sure if he's gonna blow up or not. I love the glasses on him. He looks cool. Too bad you can't animate it and have the glasses drop down. <laughs> pull the sands and have a glow eye. Yeah. That would be neat too. That's what I did with the Five Nights at Freddy's. I hollowed out one eye socket and put like a little glowing light in there to be his glowing red animatronic eye. All right, I got an itch again. Um, which means it's over here somewhere. I lost my rolling pin. suggestions in there so I can have them all in one place because as much as I do like the suggestions it gives me great ideas but if they're in the comments here and there I lose track of them I'm not gonna lie <laughs> I lose track of them so if you can put them all together in one spot that helps me out a lot now let's see I'll be right back okay 
So I don't know. Yeah, that's going to be too thick. I'll trim this up. Trim it up again. So I got more of this size. Oh, a little smaller. I'm almost there. Still going. Yeah. Cakes take time, my man. They don't happen very quickly. Okay. So I got that like that. Okay. Coming together. I love the I love the lips on it. I had posted a picture of my one dog, Jericho, earlier in the day, and somebody had put a lip sticker on his mouth and looked so silly. So he does this weird thing. Like he will show his front teeth at you. Like he tries to smile like a person. It's adorable. I have to turn it toward me a little bit. Okay. I think this will be good. And it's this silly thing he does. And if you don't know him, you might think he was like growling or being like, or showing his mean teeth, but he's actually just so happy. And he's trying to smile that it's adorable. Ooh, charged heart sticker noise. Did I get that even? Yeah, that's pretty even. Okay. Creepa. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, no. Don't go to bed. No, I'm not going to post it. You're never going to see it again. You're going to have to go to bed and wonder for the rest of your life what it looks like. Or I'll post it later. It's fine. And have a good night because I know it is a little late. So now, okay, finishing touches time. This is where it'll be a little, little more fun for me. I've got my squares that I already made because I'm not gonna lie, watching me make squares is super boring. Because all I do is roll it out and I do this a lot. <laughs> you don't need to see that. So, I've got my squares and I have them in some different colors. And there's no way that I'm going to totally pixelate this creeper cake because that's crazy and mean but I am going to start adding some of them just to get the feel and the effect. So, yeah. And some of these might not stick. I might have to get some water. I think I need to get a little water in my cup. Cup a cup. Okay, now, as far as Minecraft creepers blowing up, I mean, like I said, I had this whole plan that it was going to be like a boom and it was going to be glorious in Hollywood, here I come type of stuff. But turns out it's a lot harder to do without people being like, hey, you shouldn't be blowing stuff up in your yard. And when you Google it, I think the little FBI watch people are like, hey, <laughs> you shouldn't be blowing stuff up and you shouldn't be trying to look up how to blow up stuff in your yard. However, that's not gonna stop me. I just have to figure it out. But if you guys have any suggestions, go ahead and throw them out to me because I will certainly hear you out. I think it would be fun to wreck this thing because that's what they do. They blow up. All right, now he's getting little Tony owls. <laughs> he's silly looking. Mm. Fireworks, see, yeah, and um, that's what I was originally planning on doing was fireworks. And you can buy some fireworks in Pennsylvania. We're a little more, a lo little lo looser, you know, with some of our rules like that. And you can buy fireworks, but you can't buy the type that blows stuff up. You can buy the ones that are all pretty and make pretty colors and are nice and loud and make your neighbors mad. And you get the one person on Facebook who's like, hey, my dog is scared. Stop blowing up fireworks on the 4th of July. But you can't get the ones that are like, yeah, this cake is destroyed so easily. And so I'm trying to think of other things like there's, um, I've heard some people do it with um, air compressors. They'll blow them up that way. I've seen some people say, that they will take fireworks apart and put them together, which again, that whole legality and frankly, the dangerousness of it kind of scares me. So I don't think we'll be taking that route. 
So at the very least, you guys are going to get a pretty display of fireworks, if nothing else. Yeah, and um, we could always launch a potato gun. Actually, yeah, I looked at the potato guns because um, I think someone in my kid's Boy Scouts might have had a potato gun, or maybe I'm imagining it. And I was like, hmm, that could work, yeah. And then I heard about, or someone suggested just smashing it, which could be good too, because I was thinking like if I just got a big brick and climbed up on a ladder and dropped it, you know, that would give it a certainly out to the sides at least yeah <laughs> so yeah I don't know how we're gonna do this but it'll happen figure it out right because this is too good to not destroy hi doggy I got a doggy visiting again I like it when he visits it's fun all right guys I am a few more I think and I'm gonna make him look good in the front. I don't, I don't know if you guys wanna watch me do this all around his whole body, except the back, because the back is perfect, so I don't need to put any there, which, you know, of course. Set it on fire. Like <laughs> Set it on fire, that's an interesting idea. And look how he looks with the pic with just a few here and there, right? Like, I'm just looking at the screen because I'm doing this all backwards. I'm like, oh, wow, that looks really cool. I'm happy with how he came out. Okay, fire, fire. <laughs> yeah, I could pack him full of fireworks and then set him on fire and then, you know, try to outrun the, the police when they come, when they get called on me. That's actually a cool idea though, set him on fire. I'd have to let him dry out. He is awfully moist. I would have to let him dry out a lot, I think. And then, yeah, that's... Uh, it's an interesting idea. <laughs> yeah, I, I would. I'd have to dry him out. He is very moist. And if I dry him out, hmm, I could hollow him out and then do like a, if I soap, if I like got gasoline in him or something like that, because it's cake. And so it would absorb the moisture. Normally when I make cakes, I put simple syrup on them to keep them moist. Just a little layer of simple syrup that soaks into the cake. And you'd think it would make it soggy, but it does not. It makes it perfect. So yeah, I mean, that's an idea we could definitely kick around. <laughs> I am liking how this guy is coming out. First, I felt like he was kind of boring. But now I am seeing his potential. And it doesn't have to be a lot, just a few little details is all it takes. Spicy food, some of them will throw up. It will taste like explosive. It's gonna taste like burnt. <laughs> no matter what I do to him, it's gonna taste like burnt. All right, since I am wrapping this up, guys, if there's anyone who has any question for me, if you could send it now, I will try not to drop all the pieces and try to answer the, them. I'm not done yet, but you know, I don't want to miss anybody. And please don't forget to keep doing your quests, your daily quests, keep charging those stickers. It might seem silly to you guys, but it makes a big difference for us creators. It really does. It helps us out, it keeps us going. Like I said, this stuff costs money and right now I'm gonna go destroy it. So that's basically throwing it out. So if you guys can help without costing you any money, please consider it. <coughs> consider feeding my puppy as she's outside barking <coughs> and getting me a Minecraft t-shirt. I saw some cool ones online. All right, I'm gonna do a few more on the sides because I just am enjoying how this is looking. Eat the money and charge stickers. <laughs> if only I could. If only I could just photosynthesize and save all my money on food. <laughs> there goes Janichi again. 
I know I, nobody's breaking into our house without us knowing it. She won't protect us. I photosynthesis, yes. Sit in the sun. The only thing is, I don't like sitting in the sun. I don't know if you noticed, but I'm a little pale. So I burn. So I try to avoid the sun. But man, that would be good. If I could photosynthesize, then I'd be green like a creeper too. Okay. Well, I have time for, yeah, I could give you a couple more questions since I'm not done yet. Um, okay. What is the most famous evil mob in Minecraft? Like the most famous one. Twilight cheese. Oh, Levi. Levi's here. Uh, creep, creeper. Yeah, creeper is the most famous one. Everybody knows the creeper. Like the, I'm sorry, I don't remember whoever the user name, but whoever it was who came in and said they don't play Minecraft. Everybody knows the creeper. There's, there's always a recognizable feature here. Someone asked me if I like cheese. I freaking love cheese. Like, I grew up where it was like cheese was not a condiment or a accent to a dish. It was the meal. And it was like, oh, would you like some cheese on your cheese? And I'd be like, oh, yes, that would be lovely. And now I can't, I'm not supposed to eat as much cheese. <laughs> Them's the breaks when you get older. <laughs> Oh, you have no idea. Cheese on your cheese is awesome. And yes, I am going to make this thing. He's going to get destroyed. We'll just leave it at that. We're, we're, we're working on it. We're figuring it out. Okay, so now i got a few more on this side. A few more on that side. I'm going to do the other side now. So you're going to have to ignore the back. Because remember, it's perfect, so we don't even need to look at it. Okay. Felt like there needed to be one more there. And I forgot the other back leg. Man, I'm hungry. Ooh, I'm still dropping pieces. Creepa! Yeah, you too, Lydia. We're all hungry. See, and my plan is I'm going to go get some sushi. I'm actually going to get a Poke Bowl. I don't know if you guys have had that, but mm hmm. I love them on Pokeball. I remember the first time I had it because I didn't, I was like Pokey, like Pokemon, Pokeball. So I was calling it Pokeball and the waitress is like, do you mean Pokey? I'm like, oh yeah, gotta catch them all. That's another fun thing to do is Pokemon characters. So if you've seen some of my stuff, I do a lot of um, gum paste cake decorations. And they're a lot of fun to make because they're so different and colorful, but they're not hard. They're pretty basic. Nope. I don't know if you can see, I got a big air bubble in here. And when you have an air bubble, you pop it with a needle or a pin. Let me show you. It's like, yeah. You pop it underneath one of your other decorations you end up with like a little hole you just stick it and then you can just press the air out and then it's flat and you don't even see it yes but pokemon awesome of course i'm old school again so i like the original starters and people are like oh but the other starters are so good i'm like get that out of my face talk to me when you're starting with the charms are or all the sword Pikachu. Now I'm going to add a few more to this side to make him look amazing. I'm a whooper cake one day. I don't know what a whooper cake is. I'm not hip to all the games. So yeah, put it in the suggestions though. Like I said, oh, like I said, stick it in the suggestions on the cake tastic cakes group. And that would help me out because then I could find it and I can consider it and I can see what works and what doesn't and go from there and I won't lose it. That's the big thing, so I won't lose it. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know if you saw, but I made a fingernail mark. I keep thinking I gotta cut my nails. So when you're doing cakes, you gotta have short nails. My nails broke quickly. Okay, guys, I'm almost done, so. Oh, thank you for the glasses charge sticker. Whoever did that, I'm sorry, I missed the name, but thank you for it. How's the, uh, started with an H, I saw that. <laughs> this actually would be very good. Like that big pile of cake scraps back there, that won't get wasted. Someone had asked before, one of the other creators actually asked what I do with the cakes that I make. And um, I try to give them away because I'm tired of eating cake. And if I can't give it away, then we might eat some of it or we give it to the little creatures in the woods. We have a, a lot of deer that are around that will eat the cake. And it's kind of cool. So there was this one deer, one doe, that got very used to the cakes. And um, so I named her Cake Doe because doe, batter, you know, get it. And she would always come and she was cake dough. And then she had two babies. So their names were Cupcake and Frosting. So then it was like, <laughs> kind of became the thing. But then we got dogs and dogs and deer do not mix. So now I have to take it far back in the woods to donate it to the animal charities. <laughs> Otherwise they get thrown away. And that makes me sad too. Hello, me followed you, thank you. I appreciate being followed. Thank you guys. All right, I think I'm just about good here. All right, in a moment, I'm gonna do a little, little spin for you. So if you have any charged stickers, get ready to stick them on my creeper. So I am just about done. All right, here we go. Grand reveal time, you ready? Even if you don't have any charge stickers, that's fine too. Let's stick them up. And voila! Woo, look at him walking down that catwalk. Work it, yeah, 100 plus. A mask, cause he's COVID careful. <laughs> I love it, the bow tie, nice. And should we, here we go. We'll, we'll show you the back, cover his back up so we don't see his little booty anymore. <laughs> Here we go. He showed his little Minecraft creeper cheeks. <laughs> These are like little, little butt cheeks. <laughs> Thank you guys very much. I appreciate it. One more spin. Let's let's let him show off his good side. Right? How's he look? I am super happy with this. He came out great, and it's gonna be so fun to wreck him. <laughs> All right. Someone asked a question. I missed it. What is it made of? The cake is just vanilla cake. Buttercream icing. I use American style buttercream icing, which is literally powdered sugar and butter and enough cream to make it move. And that way it it dries, I'm gonna show you a little cheap skin, really hard. Like it, it's a very good shaping and sculpting icing to use. And then fondant and gum paste tiles. Oh, he's a dapper. He's a gentle minion creeper. <laughs> nice. So if there's any more questions or anything like that, ask me now. Otherwise, I'm going to say, please keep doing your daily quests. It does help us out. Please do the daily quests and use your charge stickers on us creators. And anyway, thank you very much for joining me, guys. Have a good evening. And I guess that's it. I will see you all next time. Don't forget your quests, charge stickers. Send us some love. Goodbye, guys. Ignore the hand. <laughs>
guess Nintendo character I'm thinking of doing. So we'll see. The Explode video. The Explode video. Yes, I'm sorry. Again, I keep faking you all out. Okay. Yeah, um, we're going to be doing it this week, hopefully Friday afternoon, because that gives me a couple more days to test and figure things out. But um, I don't think it's going to be a live stream to blow this guy up because it would be literally like a minute long. And so what I'm planning on doing is wrecking it, doing a couple different angles of it, slow-mo of it, put it together to make a nicer little video presentation of it. So yeah, that's what I'm figuring. But it will be this week. I will give you guys warning before it happens so you can, you know, charge up your stickers and and mourn him properly when he's gone. <laughs> okay, so any other questions for real this time though? So I'm sorry, I keep, tell your son to have a great day. I will. Son, have a great day. Vector the Vampire says it. He gave me a thumbs up. So how to charge stickers. Okay. Um, charging stickers is not hard. You got to do the daily quests. When you do the daily quests, not the not the ones that are like week longs or anything, just the daily quests. And each quest will give you a charge. So it's really easy to do. You do your daily quest. You'll see your little charge orbs fill up. And then what you do is you find a creator. You like me. Hmm? And then you're going to choose any sticker. When you go to any post I make, choose a sticker and and set it onto the post I make, let's say. And then down bottom where there's that bar that says place your sticker, right to the left of it is a little square that if you're able to do a charge will be lit up and it will say charge. And it's gonna be all lightning and zazzy. And if you click it, you're gonna see the sticker you had just moved start to be all zazzy and, and electric. And then you press your place your sticker and that's it. So that's how you do it. And it gives us creators some revenue. So please, 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 yes. Okay, uh, and again, if you have any suggestions, go to the Cake Tastic Cakes community, please. I don't know if you have to join it to do it, but um, if you go into the Cake Tastic Cakes community, there is a section for cake suggestions, so please put everything there, because when you put them in the comments for the different posts, I see them and then I lose them. I can't find them again. So if it's all in one spot, it's great. Oh, I'm getting a lot of questions now. Who inspired me to make cakes? <laughs> okay, um, maybe inspired is the wrong word for it, but um, my sister, I have a twin sister, and we are not identical, because a lot of people ask me that, um, and I'm older, so yes. Um, she took a cake decorating class at AC Moore back when there were still AC Moores, and um, she made this cake for my mom, for our mom, for Mother's Day. And I was like, that is so amazing. And I felt like if she could do it, I could do it because, yeah, I just felt that way. And so I well, I found AC Moore and I took one of their little cake decorating classes where they taught us how to, the basics. So it taught us how to cover cake with fondant, um, taught you how to smooth the icing on to make it look nicer. And I felt like with the basics understood, you could just expand it, just trying things. And so, yeah, it was a combination of wanting to make cool cakes for my kids and not being happy with like the Walmart cakes and a little jealous of my sister making a really cool cake is what got me going. Mm -hmm. So that's what did it. Uh... Go, looks so good. Okay, any more questions? I don't see any more. I'm just scanning. Do guard devour, I do going to your community also. Okay, good, thank you. You can say, can you say hello in Spanish? I took French, I'm not gonna lie, in high school. So my Spanish is all Dora based and it's hola, but I'm probably saying it wrong. But I could say que pasa. <laughs> oh, I'm dropping my phone here, sorry. Okay. You have a question. What's your average quest average meme guy? You gotta what do you think will make the yeah, that's what we're trying to figure out. What's your birthday? How did Oh yes, Lydia. Yes, my birthday is November 7th. Are you the one whose birthday is November 5th? Because I was we were talking about that, that our birthdays are close. Um, you know what they said you'll see is <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a sibling rivalry, I think, is the uh, mother of invention. I could just throw it on the floor. Favorite cake I've made, um, the average meme guy, 
where did I post that? It was an answer to somebody's question. Someone else had asked me that. The favorite cake I made was an under the seas cake. It was for a kid who wanted to be a marine biologist and I made it like a little mini coral reef and it had um, different corals and it had a little, what are they called, clownfish and I made a little ghost crab and I made a little cave at the bottom with some tentacles kind of like crawling out onto the sand. And it was very colorful and very um, vibrant in different shapes and different directions. And it was really cool. And that one was my favorite one. 11 o'clock. Okay, Chip the Skeleton. He's in the UK, or Chip is in the UK, excuse me. Uh, 11 o'clock there. Mm, yeah, 6 o'clock here. So, yeah, this is one of my shorter firesides. It's only two hours instead of three. Hi, Nine Tails. Nar nar two o. Oh. <laughs> That's a tough one. Some of these names I'm gonna mess up and I apologize. 402, where you are. So you're having it earlier. It's 8 a.m. 8 where are you, Dragonite? Uh, Nartuo. Oh, wow. You guys have all different times. More cakes in Minecraft, please. Yeah, Minecraft figures are a lot of fun to make. I would definitely do another one. I was thinking actually I wanted to try doing a blaze because I felt like I could make him standing on his little fire pegs. I don't know what you call them, the little columns that come up and down around him. I thought I could do something with that that I thought would be fun to do because I could just blend it into the columns that would support the cake. So kind of like our creeper here, he would be standing under his own weight. Oh, wait. No. <laughs> uh, Mojang is watching. Add more cakes in the game, please. Mojang is watching. Well, that's cool. Oh, you're in Australia. Okay. British time is funky. Aw, you had a fish named Lionfish. I have a fish named Andy Williams, so, you know. Nah, I'm okay. But anyway, okay, any more questions? I'm just checking my phone here to see if anyone else is writing anything. Oh, your fish died. Yeah, they do that. They, they don't last. Like, I've got the fish over here that I inherited from my son because he got bored with them. How long does it take to eat all this cake, or do you hand it to... Okay, yeah, this isn't what I do with the cakes, basically, when I'm done with them. Normally, I give them away if I can, because I don't want to eat any more cake, probably for the rest of my life. So I'll try to find friends or family who wants them. If there's an event or something going on, I don't know if I could donate it or not, because there's a lot of, like, health rules that go along with it because of allergies and stuff. So I typically don't donate them. I have, if I've been asked... And then I get like all the rules that have to go with it. But yeah, this, yeah. So I try to give them away because otherwise I feed them to the deer. Do you want free chicken nuggets? Um, no, thank you. I'm not a big fan of chicken nuggets, actually. Uh, are you eating the cake or just blowing it up? Just destroying it. I don't, I think I showed you guys. Yeah. This is all of the scraps I cut away in order to make this guy. So I've got enough cake here that if I were to stack it and ice it for probably about 20 people, I would have enough servings. This guy would probably feed about 30. So I've got like 50 people worth of cake here. So if I ate this every time I made a cake, I would be enormous and probably have health issues. <laughs> but yeah, so vegetarian. Yeah, um, there's a lot of vegetarian options too and substitutes nowadays because I have a lot of different requests people will ask for. Oh, the toughest one I made was a cake that was gluten-free, dairy-free, and egg-free. So that was interesting. That was a lot of applesauce and a lot of rice flour and, and not my favorite, but they were happy. So, yeah. What's the biggest cake I made? Oh, I made a Mardi Gras cake once for someone's um, Sweet 16. It was Mardi Gras themed. And it was enough for like 70 people, I want to say. And it was three tiers tall. So it was three, you know, the layers that get smaller as you go up. But it was a topsy-turvy cake, which is when the angles, it, like the top goes one way and then the next layer goes this way and the next layer goes that way. And that was the biggest one I made and I had to deliver it. So I had to carry it. And you guys don't know, but cakes are so heavy, like so heavy. This thing probably weighs like 15 pounds or something, 10 pounds more. I'm getting the thumbs higher. 
Okay, so maybe more like 20 pounds. Like it's heavy. When, and to have a cake that heavy, you've got to have good support with it. I wonder if you make a cake for my birthday. I would never get it to you in time. Uh, I haven't left yet, so I haven't seen any other suggestions. Did you see pop up on your screen? No, I did not. I've got my notifications turned off so that I can focus on this. Watch. Holy what? Yes, yeah, 70 is a lot of people. But it was a sweet 16 and it was a big deal, so, you know. Questions I remember. Ooh. If you were to make a Game Jolt icon cake, then if you eat it, then if you just eat the Game Jolt. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I have not been asked to do a, a Game Jolt cake, maybe for their anniversary or something. What is the smallest cake I made? I made um, a mini cake once just for the fun of it, and it was a little teeny tiny.